Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in Reykjavik, Iceland. A really cool place to visit, very popular now with little stayovers, 48 hour stayovers between the US and Europe. Well worth checking out. And while we were flying here, we saw quite a few mistakes people are making at the airports, whether it was in Chicago or JFK or here in Reykjavik. So today what we have for you are five mistakes that people make at the airport. So let's get started. Now, the first mistake people make at the airport is they don't give themselves enough time. Look, you know you have to be there two or three hours beforehand. They tell you this. No one cares if there was traffic. No one cares if you're stuck in security or there's a long check-in line. You have to be there on time. This is where people get the most upset. They're like, well, I was here. I left the house two hours early. No, you have to be at the check-in two hours early because you never know how long it's going to take. And no one is going to care. The gate agent, the check-in people, security are not going to care that you're running behind. So don't be late. Set that alarm. Get there early so you know you can get on your flight. Because I've seen people literally run, 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 and they shut the door in their face. They're like, look, you can open the door and let us in. They don't care. You got to be there beforehand because they close the gate usually five minutes before the actual departure time. Okay, so be on time. Don't be late. Can't say that enough. The second mistake I've seen a lot of people make is not being TSA ready. Basically, they're not dressed to get their clothes off at the security. They don't have their liquids put away. They're wearing the wrong kind of clothes. Look, if you're going to be going through security, know that, look, you can't take any liquids with you. And if you do, you have the 311 rule, okay? It's got to be under three ounces to fit in one bag kind of thing. And they don't care if you just bought that bottle of water or you just bought that bottle of wine. I've seen people complain about it again and again. It doesn't matter. These rules have been in place for like 15 years. So get over it. That's the way it is. So make sure you're being prepared for TSA. So your clothes, your boots, you're not wearing big lace-up boots. You're wearing shoes you can take off easily. When you're headed in there, get your laptop out already. Take your belt off. Put your wallet and stuff in your carry-on bag so you don't sit there and hold up the line. Because that's where the biggest thing is and people get the most frustration is at the security checkpoint when people are not ready for the TSA. The third mistake I see people make is actually at the security checkpoint. They're screwing around. They're joking around with people, not paying attention. Look, it's TSA's job to keep us safe. And if you're screwing around with them, yes, some will be fun and play along, some won't. So just stay serious, get in your line, get your stuff going and go through and don't screw around at TSA. Also, don't screw around at check-in or at duty-free. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people I've been traveling with or people that are, I know, that are literally like in the duty free. I'm like, they're calling us and they're literally running away. Oh, I don't get my duty free bag. No, because you had to buy it a couple hours before your flight, not at the last minute if they're going to check it on there. And that leads us into the fourth thing that people mess up when they go to the airports is they don't pay attention to the gates and they don't pay attention to the departure screens. Look, I know when you checked in in Chicago, it said your gate in London was going to be E38. The thing is, gates can change. So when you're getting on when you get your ticket go inside check the screens is it still e38 or has it changed because i've seen people they get their ticket they go straight to that gate they sit there and don't pay attention look up does it say your flight's going to be there check the boards occasionally is it still e38 because they can change and the thing is is a lot of airports now don't announce those changes so you have to be the one that knows where to go i've actually had a friend of mine that was just sitting there at the gate goes where's my plane it should have left like 20 minutes ago and then he looks up and they're like wait this is another plane going what's going on he finally found out that he missed his flight because it changed gates okay so pay attention to that all right a mistake i see people make sometimes is if they have like international connections let's say i'm flying from iceland to jfk then jfk to chicago it'll say when i get my ticket here with delta they'll say oh at jfk you're b12 i'm like okay so I just get off my plane and run to B12 to get my next flight. But the thing is, it might change in route. So make sure when you get off your flight and you're connecting, look on the boards to check those things out. Because a lot of people end up running or almost missing flights or actually missing flights because of that. We saw a couple in, in, in Chicago this, two weeks ago had that exact issue, okay? And the fifth mistake we see people make when they're at the airport is yelling at the check-in people, yelling at the customer service people, yelling at security, yelling at the gate agent. Look. 
If you were late to the airport, it's not their fault. If your flight got delayed because of rain, it's not their fault. They're not God. They cannot control the weather. So don't treat them like garbage. There's not much they can do. They'll do whatever they can to help you. But remember, you get more flies with honey, okay? So be nice to them. So maybe they can help you more. Maybe they can get you a blanket if you're going to be spending the night at the airport or help you get a voucher for a hotel or help you get transferred to another flight. But the thing is, there's no point in going crazy and starting to yell at them because what happens is I'm going to guess I'll be less likely to help you and I don't think you want security coming and taking you away and throwing off your flight. Anyway, those are five mistakes that I saw people making at the airport two weeks ago when we were flying out. So we're heading home soon. So hopefully we don't make any of those mistakes and I hope you don't either. Anyway, we'll say bye from Reykjavik or bless bless as we say it here in Iceland. Hey, bye.